Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So, a couple of different things for this video, completely separate topics. First of all, my wife says I look like a homeless hobo. I don't know, what do you guys think? We'll put the camera... Do I look, do I look like a homeless guy? Huh? I mean, I think the holds that burned into my sweatshirt here kind of, y you know, makes it look like I'm a working kind of guy. What do you guys think? I don't think I look like a homeless hobo. Homeless hobo wouldn't have a Jack's hat. So that's first of all. Secondly, folks, let me just make sure this thing is recording. Um, I had one of my subscribers um, ask me about this four-cylinder military generator and for more of the story, and I figured I'd take all of us out for the walk over to this thing. Um, he... I think he's I think he's from New England somewhere. And what he'd like to do is turn this into a wood gas fired cogeneration project, which I think is the coolest thing in the world, right? I'd really love to see that happen with this generator. Now he wanted a close up. Um I think well, you know what? I don't. I don't know. It's got this cap on the exhaust, and it looks like, if I had to guess, the exhaust was replaced once. Um, there's the inside of the radiator. Um, I guess this is the inside of the gas tank. It's crusty. Um, It's got a four-cylinder Continental on it. It's a flathead. Um, it, uh, I'd say it needs a lot of love and attention. If you can make it work, I think it'd be a great project. I think, I don't know, but I think from some of the history I've heard on this thing, I got the idea. You see the military stars? That, that, that is like poser stuff. That was painted on there. I'm pretty sure somehow or another this belonged to a township someplace. Or it was um, with the reserves or, uh, you, you know... Um, some something like like that. I I don't think this thing was ever overseas, and I don't think this this thing really saw any real military action. The story I was told on it is it ran, um, it generated power, but um, the power uh, wasn't stable. That's what I was told. Um, normally, these type of things. With the age of this thing, I'm I'm thinking this thing is from the 60s. Um, normally, back then, they didn't have the sophisticated electronics to control frequency and and all that type of stuff. They normally used a feedback loop with a capacitor to do that. So, I'm I'm thinking to get the generator and working, you would need that. It probably weighs. Um, a little over a thousand pounds or around a thousand pounds let's say a thousand pounds plus or minus 200 somewhere between eight and twelve hundred pounds um, moving it would be no problem I could just pick it up with the front end loader and put it on a trailer for you or put it in the back of your truck um, it appears to be complete um, Right? I mean, the linkage is... That's the governor. The linkage is here. It does appear to be seized up. Um, it's missing the cover that covers the valves. I'm not sure where that goes. Right? You could see there was a fuel filter on it. Fuel pump. Um, there's the fan. Obviously, the radiator. 
It's not easy to turn over. I'm hoping it's not stuck. Um, but I don't know. I've never started this thing, never attempted to start this thing. And to be quite honest with you, if I did attempt to start this thing, I would start out by making sure the engine is free, right? Because you don't want to engage the starter and start bending valves and, and doing bad things to it. Um, I guess my assumption would be it, it really needs a lot of love and attention. And if you really are considering it, turning, turning it into a, um, a code generation project, I think that's cool, and I would love to see the videos of it. So I'm willing, I'm willing to do um, my part. Just give me 25 bucks for it, and it's yours. Um, but the understanding would be that you're going to get out there and make some cool videos, um, make it, make it do cool things. Okay, um, that's that's what. So just 25 bucks. So I know that you're you're not going to just scrap it out. That you you're going to make some kind of investment into it, and uh, and let's let's hope let's hope you find it interesting. You come after it, and uh, and you do something with it. So uh, short video, folks. I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.